imperfections. Man, this is one of my happiest accidents. I was doing a photo shoot with Geneva using the RB67 uh, Acros Film 120, right? Yeah, I'm looking down through the uh, waist level viewfinder. Very low light shoot, right? I can't see well enough to focus. My eyes are not that great. And looking down through that uh, waist level viewfinder in that low light, yeah, I just missed focus. And I can see even when the negatives were drawing, I can see that these were going to be soft images. But man, when I scanned them into Lightroom, beautiful. I love these shots. I love that they're out of focus. It doesn't give it more of that kind of dreamlike quality. Yeah, a little more mood, right? I love that. This photograph of Yuli, same thing, manual focus and a low light shoot. But I love that it's out of focus, just enough to again, give it that kind of dreamlike, surreal look to the uh, photograph, the, to the mood. It's just a little bit more seductive to me. Imperfections. And I'm using air quotes with that. And that's what I want to talk about in this uh, video today. Because whether it's a happy accident, or uh, the film did something weird, or maybe the exposure isn't quote unquote perfect, it's often these imperfections that caused me to love these photographs even more. Film grain. Now, I know a lot of people do love film grain, but I also know a lot of photographers in 2021 who, man, they want their shots clean, right? They don't want any noise in the image. I did this photo shoot with Geneva, HP5+, Plus, kind of pushed the gain up in Lightroom, and man, I love the character that the film grain adds to these shots. For a while, I was shooting with Rolly, Retro 400S. I love the look of this film. I love that grain presence, that grain structure. And I love these photographs even more because of that grain presence. Happy Accidents. This is that photo shoot that I did with Tonya. And I opened up the camera, exposed the film, put it back together real quick. But I love these light leaks. I love the effect that it gives the photographs. Holga, <laughs> enough said, right? People buy these plastic fantastics for this image quality. I love hair that's not perfect. I love hair that's a little bit messed up, right? Because if your hair is a little bit messed up, then you're living life. And I want that to come through in the photographs. Okay, this one's kind of a stretch, but you know, it's not about the imperfections in your photograph, but the imperfections on what you're photographing. Man, the beautiful decay, the imperfections of these vehicles, that's what I love about these shots. So, are all of these things necessarily imperfections? And I do use air quotes with that. For me, when it comes to photography or anything artistic, I don't look at imperfection as a negative. It is what it is. And sometimes for me, it can be one of the most powerful tools you can use to give your photos that stronger sense of story, that stronger mood, that stronger feel. You know, these things are important to me. Should they be important to you? You know, that's for you to decide. But just think, next time you think that you've messed something up, Go ahead and live with it for a while and see if maybe it's not even better than what you had intended to produce. <laughs>